another banger. Kill that urge to be chosen. Choose yourself. What's up, Carizzies? It's your girl, Carizmi. Carizmi. Uh, what's up, Carizzies? It's your girl, Carizmi, and I'm back again with another banger video. I'm gonna keep it down because it's one o'clock in the morning, and I just have to get a few things off my chest. Yep, yeah, shit, shit. So as you can tell by the title and the beginning of this video, y'all know how me and old girl stop being friends. Let me think. When did we stop being friends? When did Martin Luther King have his speech? Nineteen. Anyways, back in historic time, we had stopped being friends. It's, it's been a minute. It's really been over a year. So the fact that it's still like, hmm, how can I say, surfacing your brain means you miss me and you just want to be my friend again. And you don't know how to, you know, you don't know how to communicate that you actually miss the genuine friendship that we had. But I'm sorry to tell you that's never going to be a thing. Since we can't rekindle what we had in the past, I might as well just redig it up for you and take a trip down memory lane of why, of why things had to. So about a year ago was when we had first fell out and we was going back and forth on the internet. And honestly, if you had to literally ask me right now about like what happened, I couldn't tell you because I forgot like who even, like who knows, we were probably finding about something when I was moving out here and it would be st stuff was said back and forth, but I wasn't keeping track to sit there and let it ruin me years later. Like it was never affecting me years later at all. But since it's so heavily ruining you and I'm such a bad clout chaser, <laughs> this is where I begin the clout chasing. You thought I was clout chasing you before. Baby girl. Baby girl. Uh, anyways, sit back and y'all because y'all gonna need some popcorn. Previously, I made a YouTube video and it's right here. If you did not see it, see it. But what everyone doesn't know is originally I had this video. And this video was about 48 minutes, screenshots, everything, voice record, like everything to the max. Like everything was spilled in that video. And the reason I didn't drop that video was because I was, the reason why y'all can even see how I didn't want, I genuinely didn't want it to be that type of beef between us where I had to literally sit there and expose your true colors to the world because that's on you to do. But since it's it's being brought back up again, something told me do not delete that video. That video is still on my YouTube, it's just privated. It's only privated to people with the link and a few people have seen it, but now I'm gonna drop this after this video so stay tuned for that that video will probably be dropping tomorrow honestly and i didn't want to have to do this but it's already done it's, it's already done baby girl it's already done and the reason i'm doing this video is not because i'm sitting here worried about that video it's just like first of all why is my why, is, why am i being brought up why is my name in the title why are you speaking about me and why do you seem so still evilly mad if you're so holy god and all that you need to learn to forgive and move on with your life i think that's why you're still um battling whatever you're battling because you're worried about what i'm doing because towards the end of the video i see you talk about some oh and i see you and laugh and trying to be shady as if you watch me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sitting up here and still tuning in, babes. But the show has just begun. So if you think you was tuning in, you ain't even tuned in for real. Anywho, there was a, a few things that I wanted to briefly bring up in that video that was literally 100% incorrect. It's like you took your own story and ran with it. I don't know what you, like, Shawty, if you're watching this, I don't know what is going on through your brain but i don't even want to figure it out i'm gonna just i'm gonna tell you what's going on in my brain in my brain i'm ready to rip i'm ready to let i'm ready to sh shit shawty did mention that i did not do youtube prior to meeting her and that when i met her i started doing youtube and attempted to clout chase her which i'm gonna show you facts and real real screenshots i started my youtube in 2013 right my oldest video on my channel 
is this video and it is private because I don't like my old videos being up there but I started my video my YouTube process at least eight plus years before I met you when I met you I at least had maybe under like two three K when I met you and you had under 10 K meaning you weren't even so the clout chasing thing has to stop of course you ran up and you were on your shit and you was consistent and you know, you did what you had to do. You grew into the person you grew into. Me, on the other hand, I'm still growing. I'm still learning. And yes, it's, it is hard. Nobody said it was about to be easy and all that. But that's why I was taking loops and I was doing what I had to do. Because in my heart, I would never look at my friend or the next person and think nothing negative about what they're doing. Go ahead, run it up. I'm going to run it up too. We run it up differently, separately. Who cares? Blah, 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 blah. She goes on a rant about how I've been clout chasing her my whole life. I had this evil, dialog dialogical, diabolical, whatever the word is called, plan to take her down and turn her which who's tarnishing you self-destruction you're tarnishing yourself with this back and forth thing that you're trying to create and you're not confrontational so you just have to do this through the internet and if you want to communicate to me through the internet about how you still feel some type of way about me I'm all ears buddy what else I do how I make you mad tell me how I make you mad keep going respectfully it just gave you're my biggest hater like it gave you're the biggest person who never wanted to see me win as a friend like I I don't know what he gave and then this is what got me y'all in the video she did mention about the last time we spoke was when her ex had passed away and I reached out and I sent my condolences not because I was trying to be funny or rekindle with you I sent my condolences because I have a heart right God gave me a heart right and and my heart was aching for you because that's traumatic and literally I went through the same exact thing when I first moved out here somebody that I was dealing with passed away and you didn't reach out but who cares you're your own person cool me me, I'm going to reach out. I'm going to reach out and I'm going to be like, hope you're okay, whatever. Because people are dealing with stuff mentally that we can't see. So I hope you're doing okay. Don't want to rekindle. Just hope that whatever you're going through, I'm sending my condolences. You want to go on this interview and say it wasn't given. First of all, I warned old boy. The video that I'm going to drop about the old story time, at the end, there is a clip where I literally speak to him. And I say, if you are watching this, run get your get your own stuff get your own bag she ain't no good for you she gonna leave you in the dust and you're gonna be sitting there sick and then what all you said in that interview just proved my old video that i never dropped everything that i said to be right i'm just sitting there like i really should have just dropped that and shut it all down before like everybody else was telling me but I'm here now, and I'm here to drop it now. And, man, y'all can go in these comments and say, I'm tired of this beef and all that. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care. I'm ready to just drop it and let it be dropped and let people really see and just see what, what really went down. And, she, if y'all feel like I was, be, I was being a fake friend after that video or I was doing something, shit, let me know. Let me know. But I'm not finna talk about it years later. I'm not finna bring... Her up randomly. I haven't seen her in months. Haven't heard her name in months. Haven't spoke, thought. She's literally a a distant, like, a distant memory that just vanished away and just became poof, dust. <laughs> gone. A fart. Gone. Like, poof, be gone. Like, it was literally like a magical trick that God did and erased her from my memory. So when I woke up and I seen that, I'm like, what? Especially when you talk about the situation, it's kind of like you have this anger and you try to use God to cover up how angry you really are. And respectfully, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and act like I do everything perfect and I'm this holy woman that goes to church every Sunday and doesn't do anything wrong and I'm such this child of God. No, I do believe in God. I do follow God. I sin every day. Jesus died for our sins. I sin. We all sin. I'm not perfect, but it's no way. And then you sit here and say that God is working on you and whatever happens to the other people. Kind of like, mm, I would say, wishing bad on somebody. That is not a child of God. That is not. When, what, what church are you going to? Why are they teaching you that? Because that's not. And to sit there and hold a grudge and think that people cannot change. and all, That is not God. You are not forgiving anything. 
you actually are contradicting yourself and like doing everything against God. Like on the bright side, at least I'm not sitting here thinking like I'm so holy, read the Bible every day, go to church and you know, you're judging others and you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. So you can go to church all you want and you can do what you do, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't know. But I'm rambling and I, it's just so much thoughts in my head about different things that I want to say because before when I first when I first seen the video I immediately thought like I don't even know if or how I'm gonna respond to this because like this don't got nothing to do with me now like this is just between her and herself because clearly she just has some psychological things going on or clearly she just really wants to be my friend again and I'm not with that you know like I'm not with that whole rekindling and stuff so if you're trying to bring me up i'm definitely gonna drop the old video so people can go back and actually see because like a lot of people really did want to see that video but i just didn't feel comfortable at the time posting it because i was still i was still feeling sorry for you if that makes sense i didn't want to drop it and it become this big thing and you're going through something i was actually looking in your best interest but i don't care no more let the people see what they want to see let the people think what they want to think all I know is, it was 100% genuine on this side. When motherfuckers got kicked out, when they was motherfucking living with me, and when motherfuckers was going through shit, and they was, and I was helping them, or motherfuckers was going through shit with their parents, and I was there, yeah. Don't ever say shit wasn't genuine and I was cloud chasing, girl, because if that was the case, I would have made videos with you every fucking day, every fucking week. Girl, we probably got at least five videos of our fucking what? I met you when I was 16, I'm 21. We probably had like five videos on my channel. Like, what are you talking about, Cloud Chase? I was just with you. Like, I was just a friend that was with you and because of your status, people knew who I was too. Was I Cloud Chasing you? No. Like, what are you talking about? But I'm gonna let that be said here. If there's anything else that I need to address, I will address it. Don't think I won't. But if y'all want me to drop the other video, the real tea video. If y'all don't care about the girl and y'all comment and y'all be like, girl, she's irrelevant. Don't even bring her to your page. I won't drop that video because I just feel as though, mm, what, what, like, who's gonna, like, nobody care about nothing of that. But if y'all wanna, if y'all wanna see the video, I will drop it, so. It was filmed a year ago, edited a year ago, and it's sitting on my page. So it's just proof that everything that I said was the truth, was the truth. They all the screenshots in there. If y'all have any advice for me what to do moving forward about some, I need advice about somebody that keeps antagonizing you and somebody that won't leave you alone. Like, even after years. Because we've had this fallout before and, like, Shawty just, like, keeps coming back into my life. Like, I don't know what to do. Any type of tricks y'all got, let me know. But, like, please just, like. Stay over there. Stay over there. I'm not even going to say no shady stuff that I want to say right now. But if Shawty get the tripping, you go low, I go lower. Just know that. I'm on that type of timing. I was never that person. I was always, you go low, I go high. No, you go low, I go lower. You go low, I start hitting where it hit home. So don't don't even do that. Maybe it's because I, like, look better. I don't know. Also, I feel like if you keep talking about how much status and success and all this you got why haven't you gotten your teeth fixed yet like why do you why your teeth still look like that also in the video you were saying like yeah i can't eat at your table girl you look like you eat branches you look like you go outside take a tree branch and eat that bitch nobody want to eat at your table babes i will eat at my own table you look like you need to rub yourself with some oils because you look ashy, actually. Your face look ashy as shit. And your head big as shit. And you look long as shit. <laughs> and you was, hold up. And you was just talking too much stuff about how I was jealous of your relationship and I was jealous of what you had going on. I told him to run. I told him to run. It looked like his time ran. I, I told him to run. I said, yeah, she gonna drive you insane. You need to go. I been told, I been told the guy. You thought I was being a hater. No, I'm, I was telling him truthfully. I'm scared of you. I ain't gonna lie. Sheesh. My bad, y'all. Let me keep my cool. Let me keep my cool. Let me keep my cool. Once people bring you out of a character, you just gotta abide by it. And she done brought me out and I'm gonna just abide by it. And 
if you try me again, I will try you again and we can really go back and forth because I really don't care. I think in your best interest, you should just shut the hell up and just leave me alone and stop speaking about me and just leave the situation alone because honestly it's pointless but after this video i am gonna drop the old video just so that people could go back and you know kind of get a glimpse of like what went down and like what really happened and then after that i might i might be quiet or i might make some shady tiktoks or something or like post on my story type shit just depends on how i'm feeling that day i'm thinking tiktoks because the girls be eating the tiktoks up but watch out for mentally deranged people like watch out for them like as i'm watching a video her eyes were opening like twitching and then that's when i knew like yeah mm -mm, so something is off and yeah mm -mm, mm -mm. also 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 because you want to say i was popping the dearest stuff about old boy i told him to run because from the jump you was cheating on him you cheated on your last boyfriend that you was on, on social media with. Oh, why, why, why the four group not together? You cheated on him and ruined all of our friendship, first of all. One. You cheated on your second one. He probably, I don't know what the deal was with him. He probably stayed or whatever. But you cheated on him with this new best friend that you got that's not even your best friend. You was, you was messing around with him since way long ago. Knowing he had a kid and all that shit. Like, what are you talking about? I could really sit here and spill all your fucking business. You picked the wrong one and sitting up here acting like that's your bestie. No! Stop the cab and then wondering why the baby mother coming after you. Trying to act confused. You know the real. You're an antagonizer. That's why she probably want to whoop your ass. You're an antagonizer. We're, like, do you even have friends? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done, Papa. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all gonna watch the old video. Y'all gonna see. And then we're gonna come back. And we're gonna reset. And then we're gonna see how everything plays out. Whatever. Make your video about me if you want to, man. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what you're gonna say. Like, I haven't spoken to you in like a year. So, like, I ain't make no, like, what you gonna react to this? React to this. Put this on your screen and react to this. And then after that, after you get some money from that, go get some braces. And then after that, I don't know. Like, I don't even know what to tell you what to do. But y'all be safe. Let me make my thumbnail.